Hi guys, welcome to this new Avril Lavigne makeup tutorial taken from the video for her new song, Fly. Now, Fly is all to support the Special Olympics, so please do feel free to go and check out the link to the song below and support by the song, donate, and it all makes a difference, so it's for an amazing cause, and I'm really excited to be recreating the look that Avril wore in the video today, so I've done the makeup, and then I've also put my hair into this long ponytail with some black bobbles that she has that's very very same or hair ties people laugh when I say bobbles but that's what I call them and then I have this pink hoodie it's not the same as the one that she wears in the video but it's similar and just a black top underneath too so I hope that you enjoy this I'm going to get into the tutorial and don't forget to subscribe for more videos and I'll see you soon enjoy first up I'm just going to pop a little bit of primer onto my eyelids just to help any eyeshadow I pop on there to stay in place seems to be getting all over my face but just apply it to your lids. I'm going to take the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. I'm just going to take a really nice um, sort of champagne shade. I'm going to use Booty Call. Just across the lids, there's like a bit of a wash of colour just to make everything. There's a little bit of shine to Avril's lids in the video. So just like a little wash of colour just to make everything look nice and neat. Then we're going to add a very light smoky brown to the lids, only a tiny, tiny bit, nothing too um, drastic. Um, feel free to bring that above the crease. It's almost just like, like a little definition, the main definition of the eye is going to be through the eyeliner, but there's a little bit of something extra going on with Avril's lids as well, so bring that onto the lid. It just adds a little bit of extra something. This um, shade is Suspect from the Naked 2 palette. Now I'll tell you whichever kind of eyeliner you prefer, so some people like liquid, some people like gel, pencil, what I'm going to do is use a little bit of black eyeshadow and then just smoke a little bit of eyeliner pencil over that. I'm going to again take the Naked 2, might as well just stick with it, makes life easier, use the shade Blackout on an angled brush and I'm just going to use this on the outer corner of the eye here. I'm going to use that, keep the line as thin as possible while still looking smoky so you want to get some definition on the go but nothing too major and the inner corner was left very bare so just sort of smoke this out like that and don't go too far I'm also going to bring that shade very slightly under the eye but only slightly Then we're going to grab a pencil liner, this is Max um, Smolder and this is one of the eyeliners that Avril's makeup artist actually uses so that's cool. And then what we're going to do is to kind of tie everything together, we're going to tight line, which means that we line this bit, don't go any further than you've gone with the eyeshadow. So it just ties everything together and brings that smoke to the edge of the eye. We're going to line the bottom waterline. From what I can see in the video, there's slightly more of a line on the bottom, so don't be afraid to go a little bit further, but not too far. We still want to keep this area very much free of makeup. Now for the lashes, if you did want to, you could add some very sort of natural looking false lashes, but I'm just going to use curlers and mascara because I think it achieves the same kind of effect. So I'm going to just give them a curl. You can use any eyelash curler, it doesn't have to be a really expensive, fancy one just has to do the job. Then we're gonna do the same sort of thing and focus the mascara on the outer at the top and bottom and it just creates like Avril's eyes that are very sort of cat eye-ish without the flick in the video and that's by like elongating the outside so that's what we want to try and achieve with the mascara too. If you want the look to be a little bit darker, like I think Avril's look might be slightly dark, you can always go back in and just make sure that that shadow looks really bold. Now foundation wise, Avril has a beautiful glowing complexion, so I'm going to go in with my foundation, my Essay Lauder Double Wear Light, I'm not actually going to use my green concealer because she has a little bit of rosiness to her cheeks in the video, so I'm just going to go in with foundation, make sure your skin's really moisturised so you get that dewier effect. I'm 
going to contour with a powder but highlight with a liquid because Avril's complexion is so dewy and beautiful in the video. So I've just got Benefits High Beam. I'm just going to put a little bit onto my cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose, forehead, chin, cupid's bow. And then I'm just going to blend that with my stippling brush just to give that extra glow. Then I'm going to try and recreate Avril's amazing cheekbones with some contour. So I've got my sleek contour kit and I'm going to use this below the cheekbone to push it up. Avril has an amazing jaw as well so I'm going to do the same there. And just bring a little bit round the temples too. Avril has blonde brows, as do I, so I'm going to fill it in with my Smashbox Brow Tech in blonde. And don't be afraid to use a little bit more product than usual because Avril's got really full, lovely blonde brows in the video. Then last but not least, Avril has a gorgeous pink gloss on her lips. So I found this one from Cargo Cosmetics and I'm just going to use that. That's perfect to recreate those lips. And there we have it. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and uh, appreciated my little ponytail for the occasion. So don't forget to go and watch the video for Fly and support the Special Olympics as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye!